another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Okay, so let's take a look at the reshape tool in Adobe Illustrator. Again, I'm going to admit at the beginning of this video, I don't use this tool very often. I'm not very good with it, and I just haven't added it to my workflow yet. So I need to spend some more time practicing. Let's take a look at what I have here on the artboard. I've got two paths. I've got an open path over here. It's just a single line, and I've got a star, which is a closed path, and it, both of these have a stroke applied to them. With the reshape tool, you must remember to select what you want to work with before you start working on it. And then you have to find the reshape tool. It's hidden down here behind my scale tool. And I'm going to come over here and click on this path somewhere. And I'm going to click and drag. And it allows me to reshape this path in a little more organic way. I can click down here and maybe get sort of a nice curve going here. Keep in mind that it's adding anchor points every time you click on it as well. Now the reshape tool on the close path threw me a little bit. I came over here and I selected it just like I did this and I tried the reshape tool and I really couldn't get it to work. It was adding anchor points but it was just dragging this close path around. So through some experimentation I found out that if I select it with my direct select tool and I click on one anchor point and then come to my reshape tool, now I can start pushing and pulling these pieces around. I can get some very organic shapes here. So it's something that I might want to play around with a little more and really get better at using um, and see what I can come up with. But that's the reshape tool in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching this Illustrator quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.